people who are really older immigrants who have been here for various generations, for them, they're very like, I am Costa Rican. They speak Spanish. Most of them don't speak Mandarin, which makes it really hard for them to connect with the newer immigrants, mostly from Anping and from Chongsan. Although they're all part of Guangdong province, it's not the same village that the people who originally are from. So I think there's this disconnect between the two groups. The older immigrants almost see them as like they're new Chinese. They came with money. We, our families didn't come with money. They don't want to assimilate. They speak Chinese. They keep to themselves. But it's also sort of an inaccurate understanding because a lot of the newer immigrants, they also don't have money. Most of them come because they are hoping to send money back to their families in China, hoping to go back to China. I mean, the similarities are obvious, like in working in the restaurant industries, still maintaining links to China and sending money. Uh, I think there's more similarities between these two groups <laughs> that it seems they are presented or mm. the way they're interpreted. So, and for me, someone who can speak Mandarin and Spanish, kind of like seeing both sides. The Chinese Association was like having an event and they were mostly of the older immigrants, right? So they didn't speak any dialect. So they were like, Dorcas, can you help us translate to these like newer Chinese immigrants and like have them come to our event as well? And I was like, okay. <laughs> now, as you talk about the differences between the newer and the, the older immigration, and that just got me thinking about Southeast Asia, right? Because there are different waves of immigrants. And then I think the earliest were the Pranakans and the, yeah. the merchants. But yeah. then later on, as the coolies, you know, the, the laborers came from, I think that was during the, the 1930s, when the next big wave of coolies came to Singapore, there's this big divide. They call them the Xinke. And so they are kind of like very intentional distinction between those who came earlier and those who came later. And then now these two groups are come together as the older immigrants. And then now you have the much newer immigrants that are coming from other parts of China, no longer just the South. Mm -hmm. So, you know, as you observe that in Costa Rica, did you see any parallels to what you've also observed or learned about other Chinese communities? I definitely sense in my own, the people I've interacted with in Southeast Asia, there's always this sense of like, oh, mainlanders, like they're Chinese. Even when I was growing up in China, right? This idea of like them Chinese, they're different. So I think it is really weird where everyone fits under this umbrella term of Chinese. Maybe it's like psychology, like people always want to have an in-group and to have an in-group, you have to have an out-group. 